So in the last video, we had learned how to add an email authentication system into our React Native and Firebase application. In this video, I'll show you how to add a Facebook login button into your application and link it with your Firebase database. So let's begin. The first thing we'll do is we'll open up the developers console of Facebook in our browser. So head to developers.facebook.com and create a new app. Let's call that at React Firebase. Once we're done with the security check, the app should be created. Once we're in our dashboard, go into settings and click on add platform. Select iOS and in the bundle ID, add host.xexp.exponent and save the changes. Next, add Android. And in the key hashes, we have to just copy a key hash which is given on the Expo documentation website and paste it here. Here on the Facebook documentation, the Expo website, here we have the bundle ID for the iOS device and we have the Android hash key for the Android device. And save the changes. Next, we need to go into our Firebase console and enable Facebook login there. We need two things there from Facebook. That is the app ID and the app secret key. So let's go to the dashboard here. Copy this app ID here and show this and copy the app secret key as well. Come to your Firebase console, sign in method and enable Facebook sign in. Here paste in the app ID and the app secret key. I'll just paste in the app secret key here and I'll get back to you. So I pasted and saved the app secret key and the app ID. That's all we need to do here at Firebase. Next, let's come back to our app. Let's create a button for Facebook login here. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this button down here. And I'll just change the text to login with Facebook. Let's clear this on press method for now. We'll create our own method. So coming here to the top, we'll create an async function called login with Facebook. Create a constant type in token. We'll run await expo.facebook.login with read permissions async pass in the app ID here and then we'll select the permissions that we want so we'll say permissions public profile next we'll check if type is equal equal to success then we'll build Firebase credentials with the Facebook access token that we receive We'll say constant credential is equal to Firebase dot auth dot Facebook auth provider dot credential and pass in the token there. Then we'll run Firebase dot auth and sign the user in with those Firebase credentials. And then we the add a dot catch here which will just catch the error we'll just say console.log error next we'll add this method here in the button so we'll say this dot login with facebook whenever the user clicks the login with facebook button also what this does here is it logs the user into the Firebase console and also logs the user into Facebook. But what we need to do is we need to check when this happens so that we can retrieve the details of the user. So that we'll do here in another method. Here we'll create a component did mount and inside this we'll create a listener which is listener.
and we'll check if the user is not equal to null just console.log the user so basically when the user is logged in this method will run and get the user's data whenever the state of the user changes seems like I had a typo here this should be public profile and here there should be async I missed the C and here there should be a capital I sorry for the multiple typos so once we test this out we see that Facebook login is opening up and here we just enter our email and password and click on login opening up the expo client here click on continue first and here in the expo client as we can see that the on state changed method has detected a change in the user's login and we've got the user's data back we have the api key we have the display name of the user and we have the users for ref now we can use this data and store this into a firebase database and carry out other actions on the particular user let's also just confirm that the user has been signed in into our console by checking our firebase console so here in our console let's go into authentication and there we can see that the user has been created and signed in using our facebook login that was a simple tutorial on how to add login with facebook to your app I hope you guys like this. Please like and subscribe.